Hey guys, welcome back. Today is a really special day. We're going to be making three different Malaysian drinks and also a little snack to go with that and share it with someone. But before that, something monumental just happened. We just surpassed 75,000 subscribers. It's crazy. That's insane, guys. Like, how is that even possible? Uh, it is all thanks to all of you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing. It really does go a long way in helping us to continue making more videos. But because of that, we want to thank you by doing a little giveaway. We want to give away a brand new Apple AirPods to one lucky viewer. All you need to do is three things. First, there's going to be many different Malaysian elements throughout the video. All you need to do is leave down in the comment below as many different Malaysian things that you see. So you need to watch the video from start till the end to catch all these different things. It could be anything. You can be creative. It could be Malaysian products. It could be outfits. It could be us. It, it could be anything at all. So be creative. List out all these Malaysian things. Leave it down in the comment below. And second, make sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube. And third, follow us on Instagram. Yep, that's pretty simple. All the details of this giveaway will be listed down in the description box below. So check it out. We will announce a winner in exactly two weeks from the time this video is published. So now let's jump into the video. Okay, back to the regular video. So guys, we actually have a new roommate. <laughs> we have two new roommates, my parents. They officially have moved in and it's been really great having them here. It is tea time here and my mom is out running errands, but my dad is here. Mm -hmm. So we want to take this opportunity to introduce him to Kumar Family Tea Time. So Kumar Family Tea Time basically means Malaysian tea time. <laughs> so we'll be making three different drinks. Milo, Teh Tare, and Lychee Rose Syrup. These are all our favorite drinks. We really want to introduce it to her dad. And if you're lucky, I might just make Chakodo Pisang as well. I hope we're lucky. So just know guys, like the recipe that you're gonna watch us doing is our Kumar family recipe. It's not something that we followed from anywhere. It might be very different from your typical mama style recipe. So if you see and you like it, give it a shot and try it. Let us know if you like it. If not, don't worry. It won't hurt us because this is what we like. <laughs> but most importantly, we just hope my dad likes it. Yes, let's hope he likes it.
Okay, we're good to go. Great. So guys, this is my dad. His name is Tad. Hello. You might remember him from our video, Kadai Makanan Kumar. Linked above here right now. And he absolutely loves anything Mogish cooks. And absolutely. I can't wait for him to try this delicious tea time. Okay, so dad. Yes. We have a snack that's a staple in a lot of Malaysian houses. This is something that we usually have in a lot of tea times. Okay. It's called Chikodo Pisang. Chikodo Pisang. Okay. It's basically banana fritters. Mm. Malaysian style. Sounds good. We also have this cold drink here. Mm -hmm. It's a lychee roast syrup drink okay. with some 7-Up in it. Okay. <laughs> I usually use either cream soda or 7-Up. It really depends. This time we have 7-Up at home, so I use that. This is Milo and this is Teh Tari. Do you want to try the food first or the drinks? What do you prefer? How about the food? Okay, okay, all here right. you go. You can all taste this. All right. Help yourself, Rachel. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. That's good. It's yeah. really good. Is that cinnamon on, to on top or what's on top? No, that's actually powdered sugar on top. Oh, okay. And the powdered sugar is actually not common. I just try to make it fancy, you know? Okay, that's... You know what that's I mean? <laughs> well, maybe fancy, but it's also tasty. I love the banana flavor. That was, when I bit into it, I tasted that right away. It was uh, softer than I thought it would be. Mm. I expected it to be a little bit more crunchy, uh, but it's very soft and uh, very delicious. I think it's a fan, it's going for the second one. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, this is quite a bit different than a snack that we would have here in the US, but it's very, very good. Something like this, I think, could catch on, honestly. Guys, if you want to come to America and sell kueh, <laughs> start with Chikoto Pisang. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's move on to drinks now. So we have two hot drinks and the cold one. Do you want to start from the colder one, maybe? Sure, the cold oh, one. Yeah. Go ahead. go ahead. So tell me again what this is called. Lychee Rose Syrup. Okay. With some 7-Up. With some 7-Up. Right. It gives it a nice fizz. Mmm. That's good. Yeah? That's really good. I don't taste the 7-Up in it. You don't? No, I mean, other, other than a bit of a sparkle, maybe. There's also actual lychee All right. fruit in there, if you want to fancy sure. try some of them. There you go. I think I've had Have this you had one lychee time. before? One time. Okay. That's very good. I actually tasted more 7-Up with that bite of lychee <laughs> than I did before. But the, very nice. Very, very nice and chilled mm. and very tasty. When Rachel first tried rose syrup, she thought that it tasted like... Soap. <laughs> soap? I thought it tasted like soap. Nope. It's unique, yes. Okay. But a very refreshing flavor, I would say. There Good go. for a hot day. Yeah. Sometimes you also add lime into this, which right, gives it a yeah. little bit more depth to it. I've mm -hmm. never but, had that. Yeah, but this is one of my favorite cold drinks to have. All right, let's move on to the next one, Milo. Right. Since it's been sitting for a while, we got to mix it up. So the thing with Milo is this is Malaysia's hot chocolate, pretty much. Right. Uh, you could drink it cold if you add ice to it. Uh, this is the hot version, obviously. I'm excited to try this because I've seen you and Rachel drink it before. Yeah. It correlates well, I think, with our Nesquik oh, here in okay. the US. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I right? would agree with that. Yeah, so I think I this mean, is better though. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Now, does this have milk in it, water in it, or both? Both. A little bit of water, mostly milk, and just Milo. Okay. Sometimes, well actually not sometimes, a lot of times in Malaysia they add also sweetened condensed milk which I don't add it to okay. my Milo, that's kind of how I like it. Okay. I think with the sweetened condensed milk it's a little too, too sweet, too sweet, too right. decadent. I think this is just the right ratio, you need a little bit of that watery taste. No, that's very good. I would, Rachel, I would think I would agree, I like the Milo better than our Nesquik. Oh, yeah. guys, you hear that? Yeah. From two Americans, Milo yeah. is better. Milo is better. Fun fact, I can go as far as say that it's in every single Malaysian household. That's how popular wow. the drink is. You, you're not a Malaysian if you haven't had Milo. <laughs> it, that's just a fact. If you're watching this, you're a Malaysian if you haven't had Milo, I'm disappointed in you. I really am. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have here? Okay, so this is Teh Tari. Uh, in tari. English, means pool tea. It's made with pulling the tea so that you add okay. air bubbles to it. Air bubbles is a bit lesser right now just because it's been a while mm -hmm. since I made it. All this right. is my favorite. And Tyra, yeah. your favorite tyri, too? Tyra, you want some? Hmm. <laughs> wow, again, that's, that's very good. Yeah, very different flavors obviously between the Milo and this. Mm -hmm. But boy, both would be good on a chilly day here in the U.S. 
So you're a fan of all these things. I'm a, oh, absolutely. If you had to go to, say, a mama restaurant in Malaysia, mm -hmm. and you could only pick one drink, which one would you pick? In Malaysia, because it wouldn't be cold there, it would be warm, mm -hmm. I would definitely pick this one. Okay. Yeah. But if I pick between the two hot drinks, that's a tough call. Probably this one. Probably a tetare. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah. That's Which, Rachel's favorite that too. Nice. Which one would you pick, Logish? I'm curious. I pick all of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's not a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I pick all of them. I make all of them. That's right. <laughs> Honestly, I just can't pick. I, I love all this. Yeah. This is all the favorite foods of mine, and I, I love them all. Logish is so awesome to have you in our family because you have broadened our food perspective as well as a lot of other perspectives too. As you know, I've already been stretched in other cultures, in the Lao culture, in the Indian culture. Now with the Malay culture, it's even even better, more exciting, different, new. There you go, there so, you go. Exciting. I, I try my best. I try to share Malaysia everywhere I go. And now living in the US, I just do my best to share a little bit about our food and our culture to everyone, including you and all our family and friends. Absolutely. Uh, but thank you, thank you, I appreciate well, that. Thank you for the drinks. Yeah, you're welcome. I love it. So I think it's safe to say that you're a fan of Kumar Tea Time? Absolutely, a fan of Kumar Tea Time. So are all these mine then, or do I have to share? Go ahead, go ahead. You can have it, you can have it. Hey, could you do me a favor? If there is anything that you would like for Logish to make for me, whether drink or food, would you leave it in the comment section below? I would love that. Hey, and by the way, the spicier, the better. Thanks. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and don't forget about the giveaway. All the instructions for that are in the description box down below. Good luck, hope you win. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.